the cheetahs at Safari West was an enlightening experience. Cheetahs, like other big cats, are tractable at best, as in they are not tame or eager to please people. I found this out firsthand when one of the cheetahs decided to attack me in the form of rough play. Fortunately for me, they are crispicular, meaning they are active at dawn and dusk, so it was chilly and I was wearing a lot of layers, otherwise my neck would have been torn to shreds. I'm also fortunate that they are petite, with females weighing 60 to 110 pounds and males 80 to 140. They are approximately 6 feet from head to tail, with their actual body only accounting for about 4 feet. They are also fairly skittish, more of a flight than a fight animal. This is according to the keepers I interviewed, Sarah Reebok and Marie Martinez. But the one tearing at the back of my neck didn't seem very fearful to me. I learned a lot from the keepers, both fact and fiction, about this dainty but dignified feline. They dispelled many myths, for example, that cheetahs do not roar. Instead, they hiss, chirp, and purr, according to their mood. Sarah demonstrates. Well, they purr. It sounds like a Harley Davidson, actually, when they get going. Um, and then they also make a chirping sound when they're scared or nervous. It's like a psh, psh. Can you hear that? It sounds like a blackbird uh, calling. And then they make a, um, a chirring sound when they get excited. If they get excited about another male or maybe um, they're hunting and they get excited, they make a very... Um, uh, it kind of sounds like a pro, 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 pro. it's a very um, not cute sound to make. And then they when they also spit and they they uh, chuff. Uh, with, it's kind of like a pff, pff, um, when they get kind of when they get a little attitude with each other if they're playing and the one does something the other one doesn't like. They'll actually um, she'll make that sound. She'll go pff, you know she'll sp kind of like spit at the other one. Marie also shared a great African folk tale about how the cheetah found its place in the world. But the story is that the cheetah went to the lion and didn't know what he was, and he was very upset. And the lion said, "Well, well, you're not you're not a cat. Look at those feet." So the cheetah was very upset and, and left and went away crying. And then went to a went to a wild do hunting dog, and told the hunting dog, he "said Well, you know, um, he says you know the lion says that that I'm not a not a, I'm not a cat because look at my feet." And then he, look, he says, well, look at your ears, you're, you're not a dog. You know, so then he was really upset again, thinking, oh, what am I? So he went to a tree and he was crying under the tree and a giraffe came upon him. And the giraffe was really sad to see the cheetah crying. And, and then the giraffe started crying. And the cheetah told him a story, he just didn't, wasn't still quite sure what he was. And he started crying. And when the giraffe cried, when his tears fell so far, they went down to the cheetah and they burnt, they burnt the spots onto the cheetah. And then there was a bird into the tree and the bird was uh, telling him that he should be proud of what he is and the bird starts chirping and when, and when the cat hears the bird chirping he starts to chirp because he's so proud of what he is now.